Hey everyone, Steve Patterson here from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple mirror image effect with Photoshop. I'll be using Photoshop CC, but any recent version will work. If you're watching this video on our website, you also have access to the text version, so you can watch the video or read through the steps. Thanks for joining me, and let's get started. Well, here's the image I'll be using. I downloaded this one from Adobe Stock. If we look in the Layers panel, we see the image sitting on the background layer. We also see that the background layer is currently locked. We need to unlock the background layer so we can move our image around. To unlock it, in Photoshop CC, simply click directly on the lock icon. In Photoshop CS6 or earlier, press and hold the Alt key on a Windows PC or the Option key on a Mac and double click. Photoshop renames the layer from Background to Layer 0 and we can see that the lock icon is now gone. Next, we need to add some extra canvas space around the image. To do that, go up to the Image menu in the menu bar along the top of the screen and choose Canvas Size. This opens the Canvas Size dialog box. Set the width to 100% and leave the height at 0%. Make sure the Relative option is checked, then make sure the Center box in the Anchor Grid is selected. Click OK to close out of the dialog box, and Photoshop adds more space to the left and right of the image. I'll zoom the document out so I can fit the entire canvas on the screen by going up to the View menu and choosing Fit on Screen. And now we see that Photoshop has doubled the width of my canvas. Next, let's find the exact vertical center of the document by adding a guide. Go up to the View menu and choose New Guide. In the New Guide dialog box, set the orientation to Vertical, then enter 50% for the position. Click OK, and Photoshop places a vertical guide through the middle of the document. Select the Move tool from the toolbar. Press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard and drag the image left or right so that everything you want to mirror sits on one side of the guide. Next, we need to select just the image itself, not the empty areas on either side of it. To select just the image, move your mouse cursor over the preview thumbnail in the Layers panel. Then, press and hold the Control key on a Windows PC or the Command key on a Mac and click on the thumbnail. Photoshop places a selection outline around the image. We've selected the entire image, but what we really need is to select just the side we want to mirror, which means we need to reshape our selection outline. To do that, we can use Photoshop's Transform Selection command. Go up to the Select menu in the menu bar and choose Transform Selection. This places transform handles around the selection outline. You'll find one in each corner, plus one at the top, bottom, left, and right. The one we need is the one opposite the side we're going to mirror. Click on the handle and drag it over to the guide. This reshapes the selection outline so that only the side of the image we're going to mirror is now selected. Click the check mark in the options bar to accept it. Next, we need to copy the selected part of the image to a new layer. To do that, go up to the Layer menu, choose New, and then choose Layer via Copy. If we look in the Layers panel, we see that Photoshop has copied the layer, named the copy Layer 1, and placed it above the original. All we need to do now to create our mirror image effect is flip the contents of this layer. For that, we can use the Free Transform command. Go up to the Edit menu and choose Free Transform. This places the Free Transform box and handles around the contents of the layer. If we look in the center of the Free Transform box, we see a small target icon. This icon represents the reference point for the transformation. In other words, it's the point around which the image is going to flip. Click on the icon and drag it over to the handle that's sitting on your guide. Then, on a Windows PC, right-click anywhere on the image. On a Mac, control-click anywhere on the image and choose Flip Horizontal from the menu. This flips the image so that everything on one side of the guide is now mirrored on the other. 
creating our mirror image effect. Click the check mark in the options bar to accept it. To clean things up, let's remove the guide by going up to the View menu and choosing Clear Guides. To remove the extra canvas space around the image, go up to the Image menu and choose Trim. In the Trim dialog box, choose Transparent Pixels at the top, then click OK. Photoshop trims away the extra space. Finally, I'll zoom my image back in by once again going up to the View menu and choosing Fit on Screen. And there we have it. That's how to create a simple mirror image effect with Photoshop. If you liked this video and found it helpful, click the subscribe button to join our channel. Visit our website, PhotoshopEssentials.com, where you'll find hundreds of tutorials covering Photoshop basics, image editing, photo effects, text effects, and more. As always, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you learned something along the way, and I'll see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from PhotoshopEssentials.com.